Japan's most unhinged, unhinged scammer loses it all. Okay. How? Let's see this. I spent it all on host clubs. 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 I spent it all on host it host club just basically like Isn't that just like whoring it up without sex? <laughs> Imagine you're 18 with no skills, no education, stuck in a dead end job, and someone told you that you needed to make yeah, a paid date without the benefits. Yeah, where would you get the money from? For Watanabe Mai, the answer was obvious from men, of course. <laughs> Mai developed an incredibly effective method for scamming money out of lonely men and released it as a guide to help other women get rich too. What? She made, she wrote guides, dude. She wrote guides, what the fuck? Oh my God. Look at me over here. I'm writing guides about Grand Blue Fantasy. She wrote guides on how to scam people. Fuck. Her tactics spread like wildfire on social media, but then the cops got wind of it. Mai's magic system is genius, and I'm gonna go through all of Oh my of god, it, go through it. It is unethical and illegal. All right, guys, That's unethical and illegal. Okay, it don't do the it. Scammer system. Pay attention so you don't become a victim, and obviously, do not use it. Okay. All right, gang, listen up. The first thing you have to do is S. Select your target. Not every guy is a good target, so if you don't choose the right ones, you're gonna waste a lot of time. Broke losers are out. You gotta find a guy who's good at making money, but bad at holding on to it. That's exactly right. The perfect mm. mark is a guy who's lonely, isolated, and has no hobbies. A guy who has no meaning in life, who's not fulfilled. Ideally, he has nobody who relies on him and no interactions with women. Oh my god! It's like, why are the you even alive? This is the best type of man. To dude, she, dude she, she did not care about them at all. Dude, holy because shit. She used to work in what the Japanese call the night industry, if you know what I'm saying. One evening, she desperately texted every guy. I don't know how you could do this, like, honestly. Like, I don't know how you could do this and live with yourself, you know what I mean? ...on her contact list asking for money, and the only reply she got was from the loneliest, most unfulfilled guy she knew. When it comes to the kind of guy you should avoid, Mai recommends staying away from playboys and f-boys, the kind of guys who are self-centered and only interested in a physical relationship. As I mentioned earlier, you want a guy who's unfulfilled and lonely, so you should avoid guys who have a fulfilling life. Oh my god, she dude, she got this down to a science. She strided, dude, she labbed this shit. She labbed this. Like, you know how, like, I'm in there, like, labbing, like, Sir Barrel trying to find out how to do the most damage? She's trying to do the most damage to guys. Yeah, she's min-maxing, like, in real-life DPS. Holy shit. Uh, oh my god. You avoid guys who are full of themselves. Guys who flash money around may seem like ideal targets, but they're savvy and self-centered, making them difficult to manipulate. Now that you've selected your target, it's time to C. Cultivate trust. If he doesn't trust you, why would he give you money? So, you gotta make him trust you. The best way to do that is to make him feel like- Yo, I can tell you something? I know for a fact that there's people like this. In the VTubing community, 100%. I know exact people that are actually like this. Obviously, I'm not going to say who, but I have literally seen this. Actually, 100% seen this in the VTuber community. No joke. No fucking joke. Like you're his girlfriend. Hey, what's that up, Nagi? Texting him all the time, every day when you wake up, 
throughout the day before don't you go trust to sleep, him you need to uh -oh. make him feel like he's special to you yo thanks for the bits davy thank you mm -hmm. <laughs> The next thing you gotta do is learn everything about him. Stuff like what you you know what the problem is too. You know what the problem? Uh, it's about like a girl. Uh, this video is about a girl that like scammed a bunch of people. But you want to know the thing is too is say like this happens to you and like again, I've seen this literally happen. I've literally seen this happen. What do you think happens if like you call them out and you say like yo you manipulated me and you like took all you 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 you. you you manipulated me and like, you know, you took my money and you're like, are, are huge. You're so mean to me. What do you think happens? They fucking cry and they turn it around on you and then everyone hates you. 100%. 100%. I've seen it happen. Time does he wake up? What does he do on his days off? What was his childhood like? If you skip this step. I see. I've seen it happen in plain sight. Plain sight. I've seen it and try to extract money without making him fully trust you, he'll get suspicious and you will fail. Mai gives examples of her favorite messages to use on guys. Stuff like, messaging you first thing in the morning has become the highlight of my day. Oh and my God. it feels so nice to say goodnight to you. Dude, this makes me so mad. Okay, now that you've got him to trust you, it's time for the fun part, extracting cash. To do this, we will start by A, arousing concern. Basically, you need to make him think that you're in danger and that the solution is for him to give you some money. Mai refers to this part as casting a spell on him. You're a complete sociopath. Don't interrupt. To start, <laughs> abruptly stop texting. Shut up, I'm talking. Him for two, three, or even four days. He'll get worried about you and probably spam you with messages. Don't open them, hold out. Once he's ready, find a time when you think he's home and ready to have a conversation. Say something like, I'm sorry I didn't message you, but I was too embarrassed to tell you what I've been dealing with. I'm being chased by debt collectors. Don't elaborate. Make him ask for details and slowly trickle them out to him. Make sure you're ready with your story. Prepare all the specific details beforehand. Example, I'm behind on rent. He'll say, since when? Two months ago. Why haven't you paid? The economy, medical bills, whatever. What happens if you don't pay? I could get evicted, or my parents might find out. If you've done things correctly, you now have a trusting guy who's sympathetic to your oh financial troubles. Now, is it time to ask him for money? No, 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 no. Actually, Mai never directly asks for money. Instead, the next step is to mention solutions that don't really solve the problem. These are things like, I've been talking to someone who says he'll lend me the money, but he's connected to the Yakuza. Obviously, your guy doesn't want you to get money from the Yakuza, but he's probably not ready to pay yet. So his first instinct will be to come up with all kinds of solutions that get him off the hook. Things like, have you considered speaking to a lawyer? Or have you asked your parents for help? He's like a worm mm -hmm. trying to wriggle away. Anticipate these questions and be ready with answers. Things that make him feel bad like, oh my God. Lawyer, I told you about this because I trust you. I don't want to tell somebody else about this. Or, go to my parents. They hate me. I ran away from home, remember? At this point, if you've Holy done everything shit. right and he trusts you, he will offer to pay your debt. Mai has a rule where you have to refuse the first time, but eventually give in and accept his money. Success! <laughs> But it's not over yet. The next part is crucial. You need to make him feel like a hero. Mai calls this part aftercare. Don't call it that. Oh my god. And she stresses, seriously, look how many extra characters she added here for emphasis, that this aftercare is the most important step. You need to make him feel like a white knight who saved the princess. Say things like, Thank you so much. You've given me a place to sleep tonight. Give him a breakdown of exactly how you spent the money. Leaf. Hint. I need a bright care. romantic future. Thanks for the bits of the strings. Future together and tell God, this is such a painful video. If it wasn't for him. This if is I hadn't such a painful you, video. I might be dead right now. Or, you saved my life. Please don't ever leave me. 
you need to make sure that he feels warm and fuzzy about giving you the money. If you skip this step, who knows what could happen? But if you did it correctly, this sets you up in perfect position to end or repeat? Repeat! If Mai thinks the guy doesn't have any more cash left, or if she's put him in too much debt already, she'll try to let the conversation die out and move on to the next guy. But most of the time, if you wait a few weeks or months, you can loop back to the start and try to get money from him all over oh again. Oh my god! Mai says most of her targets pay her more than once. <laughs> Dude, she does not give. Dude, she's so she's proud of it. She's proud of it. She doesn't give a fuck. Oh, oh my god, one hundred thirty-five thousand dollars. Hi. She even has a guy who buys her the new iPhone every year. In her four-year career, it's likely that Mai scammed over two million U.S. dollars from desperate men, and she was proud of it too. Holy crap! Like actual sociopath. Mai didn't hide her lifestyle at all. She even brought 60k in cash to this interview. <laughs> what? The interview? Just to flex? Newer is a massive Japanese YouTuber, and the reason it happened at all is because she's a fan of his and was spamming him for attention. He asked really good questions, and she ended up looking pretty bad. Afterwards, she threatened to go to the cops if he released it, but he released it anyways. Giga Chad. Why did Mai want to be in the public eye so badly? Perhaps she just wanted attention. But there was another reason. The oh guide we went through earlier, she was selling it for $300 a pop, and business was booming. Oh my gosh, she sold the guide! This was the beginning of the end for Mai. Remember when I mentioned that aftercare is the most important part? Another reason for this is because guys who feel scammed go to the cops. Unfortunately for Mai, some of her students must have skipped that chapter, specifically 19-year-old convenience store employee Yeda Miku, who, after buying Mai's guide, scammed around $100,000 out of oh two men goodness. by lying that she was going to be forced to appear in a certain kind of video if they didn't help her. After they paid her, she didn't do any aftercare. In fact, you could say she did negative aftercare. To both men, she sent a message, Miku has been kidnapped, and blocked them. And when Just, that's it? Two men bring such an absurd story to the Nagoya police within one month, they start to connect the dots. They quickly tracked down and arrested Miku, found the guide on her phone, and then arrested Mai for aiding and abetting. Oh this my god. This put Mai's face on the news, which made quite a few of her past victims realize they were scammed and go to the cops. Because guys were finally coming forward, they were able to arrest Mai two more times over the next couple months. One of the most interesting things they found after arresting her is that she never had any savings. She was essentially living paycheck to paycheck. Dude, buy a house or something. What the fuck? Well, other people's paycheck to paycheck. Every month, she was spending all- Diversify your bonds, man. What the fuck? All of the money she received. On what, you might ask? Host clubs. A host club is a place where women pay for the company of charming men. Hosts give them attention and entertain them with conversation and alcohol in a control. That's what she spent it to. <laughs> she was like, she was like a simp. She, yeah, she was like, the, like a, like a. Oh my god, she was, she was like a human centipede of simp, dude. It was like, <laughs> I probably shouldn't go into that. It's a little graphic. Controlled social setting. Host clubs can be cheap if you go once in a while. The first visit is heavily discounted. A human centipede is simple. Regular, they're really expensive. In Mai's case, she was a bit more than a regular. 
she fell in love with the host, specifically this guy, and spent so much money at the club, the staff started calling her Mother Teresa. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. The only reason Mai started scamming was host clubs. Before host clubs, Mai was just a normal student with a part-time job. Host clubs made her want money, which is why she got into night work. That still didn't make enough, so she started scamming her clients. In the end, host clubs were her downfall. Even when she was making hundreds of thousands of dollars a month, she was living in capsule hotels, so she had- <laughs> You can't be serious, man. What? Had more money to spend at the host club. She's dumb. On October 27th, Mai was in the news again, the fourth time in two months. But this time, it wasn't her being arrested. I was at first, I was thinking, dude, she's kind of like those sociopathic genius people. But no, she's, she's kind of dumb. It was her host and his manager. They were arrested for knowingly receiving dirty money from Mai. But how can they prove the hosts knew the money was dirty? Yeah, what? How about a text message found on Mai's phone from the host saying, I am your accomplice now. I'll be arrested with you. Speaking of this host guy, everyone's talking about this fish-shaped kettle of his. Apparently, he bought it for like $25 on Amazon and served Mai soft drinks in it. For this luxurious service, he charged her around $100,000. I mean, this is kind of poetic. It's... <laughs> it's kind of hilarious, actually. On November 3rd, Mai appeared in court. Her appearance had changed a lot, and she was wearing glasses. She pled guilty to both aiding the scams... I like, I like how the, the, the image has, like, duck face on it. It's so perfect. The sketch with the duck face. Absolutely perfect the guide, and the scams that she did herself. The only new information she we learned during the trial is that she has a husband who's Vietnamese. Either. She hasn't and been sentenced what yet, and there's another trial coming in December. True. True. Uh, Thanks to the Vietnamese uh, dragon slayer. I don't know. 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 You know, I've actually worked at a host club. I made a bonus video where I tell that story and talk a bit about the channel and why the videos take so long. It's free you on my Patreon. You don't have to sign up. When she Link was in the description. Just a chicken Check on the field, Getty's farmed by the real farmer. I know. She was, dude. She was. She was getting played. Holy crap. Dude. See, this video is called Japan's Most Unhinged Scammer Loses. Dude, that's so crazy. Dude, I'm telling you, sometimes, like, real life is just as crazy. Sometimes it's just as crazy as, like, fiction.